Hi, what we've got here this time for this short video is the insides out of uh, an X-ray head. Um, I'm trying to see if I can make use of this into a uh, high voltage power supply. Normally this is all under oil, it's been removed to show what the parts are and to have a look at what we can modify. Uh, this is a, a high frequency inverter uh, supply, so the transformer is actually quite small. So it comprises your, your the high voltage transformer, the uh, power in board, uh, the filament transformer here, and uh, voltage multiplier and uh, resistor divider board for sensing output. So showing the transformer disassembled, here is your primary, uh, and this is our high voltage secondary, uh, the two outputs along the top here. Um, very few turns here, it's uh, a high frequency transformer, this one's running at about 30 kilohertz. Similarly in the uh, filament transformer, if you take it apart, uh, no gaps used here either, and if you take it apart, uh, there's your filament voltage and your primary voltage and a lot of uh, gapping for the high voltage, it's, even though as I say it's under oil as well. Here we can just quickly go through the diagram for the uh, X-ray head. I've got the uh, transformer here. This is the uh, high voltage transformer. So there's two primary windings in there, and the inputs are on the board, and they're all protected by varistors. Uh, and likewise in the uh, primary transformer, the transformer for the filament. Um, the interesting thing is the uh, uh, Cockcroft Walton multiplier board that's shown here. This uh, has the inputs from the high voltage transformer on here. Uh, this is the reference point to ground, which gives us a, a negative high voltage and a positive high voltage to give the full sum of across the, the whole uh, multiplier. Um, it's not ideal, uh, it's typical of X-ray uh, units. Uh, uh, that's a possibility that you could take this away and build a bit more onto this side. That's something I'll, I'll look at. The other nice thing about these is it's a full wave one. There's not a, a half wave like you find in a flyback arrangement or a, on televisions. Um, that uh, you can also disconnect it and rotate the the arrangement so you would change it from a negative output to a positive output or vice versa. Um, the other interesting thing is the resistors, a potential divider arrangement. This is the, uh, the resistor arrangement that's set so that you've got uh, a, a cascade of 22 mega ohm resistors with capacitors across them and a 25 kilo ohm here. And uh, this gives you a point here which is 1 volt out to 1 kV on the output of this side. There are two resistors, 15 Ks, on the output from the uh, the multiplier. The interesting thing, well, about problem maybe about this divider is that it's only on one half. So, if you're reading one volt, giving you one kV here with respect to ground, it's actually two kV across the entire uh, multiplier. But uh, yeah, it looks quite good. Otherwise, maybe able to do something with it. Uh, one other point, this is the high voltage potential divider for the, the high voltage pin here. Um, so the, you notice the, the gaps for, the, for basically for insulation etc. But it's a bit, it's all discrete components. The uh, I have come across one on another X-ray unit which is this one here. This is a, a ceramic uh, plate with resistors printed on it. Uh, these again are for high voltage, is a high voltage divider. Uh, we have our high voltage input at this end and these are resistors down to this point here which is the, the sense output and this is a ground so this will form the last part of the resistance here. This measures 200 uh, mega ohms approximately from here to here and just uh, just uh, 200k from here so you're getting again similarly uh, for 1 kV here you're, you're getting 1 volt out here. Interesting thing about this, you think, well, the, where's the capacitors? There's nothing on this one, but there, it is as incorporated. If I turn it over, there's metal plates on the back behind the resistors which form the capacitance across the resistors as well. So, we c you can also measure the resistance. Uh, there are little gaps on the, the coating on the top here.
To measure the resistance is rather tricky because I have a meter here. Um, if I measure from the sense point to the, you, it's out of range basically. Um, if I measure the lower end, you'll see it's roughly uh, just short of 200k there. But conveniently, they have put little pads that you can measure at the edges of these, so you can you can measure until it goes out of range. Uh, it's out of range there, so you've got uh, 50 meg ohms here. Uh, and so you can work out the value of the entire divider. Okay, I've put this circuit together. Uh, it's basically the oscillator here driving two IGBTs, which are, uh, have got uh, bus voltages f from from zero up to the mains on this, these capacitors here, and uh, we've got it connected to our two primary coils in the high voltage transformer in series, and I can then apply. With the oscillator running, if I apply a voltage, I've got uh, a voltage probe on the output, uh, which is giving me again one volt per kilovolt. So, for a very small input, we're getting 4.5 kV on the output. Now it's 4.5 kV from one side to the other, so I have to be careful because this hasn't got the the side hasn't got the insulation for for a center zero point so this will be a 2 kV on on this point to ground. Okay, the second meter here is reading the uh, voltage on the um, on the DC bus uh, we've got 17 volts there just now so I take that up to say 30 volts. So we've now got 30 volts on our DC bus and we've got 8 point to KV uh, across our vol high voltage output. Uh, again, I'm doing this without oil. This would normally be under oil, so I, get, I can't push it any well, much higher in case there's a flash over, particularly the, the transformer windings. If you if you cause an arc to occur in the in the windings of the transformer, it's pretty much game over um, for the transformer. But it looks pretty promising that we can kind of turn this up and produce quite a good output from it. If I take the voltage up a bit higher, you can start to hear breakdown. So that's Corona developing and um, I wouldn't want to take it any higher than that.